Thank you for this great event. I think it's a very important uh, and promising event for the future. Um, I, my name is Milo Tessela. You find me on Twitter like this. And um, I consider myself to be a political entrepreneur. That means it's an add-on to a political activist. I try to make it a business by transforming the system from within. Um, and I love to rethink the existing and shape the new. Uh, that's my personal uh, motto, um, uh, but it's also coincidentally uh, somehow the mission of um, my most important platform, it's a company I founded. Um, I found it with a, a friend and now business partner, it's called Frames, not Frames, it's called Frames, it's the uh, phonetic spelling for uh, the English word frame. Um, and that's what we mainly do, we define frames. Um, we are a consulting company uh, with a focus on transformation, innovation and impact. But we do consider us to have a mission and we are very strict about it. Uh, one of our focuses, and uh, this is the focus I represent, lies on activities with political organizations, public institutions and administration, civil society and NGOs. So it's an old list of logos, but there is uh, the European Forum Alpbach be beside it. There's the municipality of Graz, uh, several ministries, um, the Red Cross, and so on and so forth. Uh, generally, um, we do also projects with uh, private, uh, private industries. Um, but all in all, these are the fields of activities and products we do. Organizational development, strategy implementation, dialogue and engagement, collaboration and community, innovation and entrepreneurship, and so on and so forth. Um, but in terms of um, our core, um, core expertise, I'd like to refer to a speaker from yesterday, Sabine Junginger. Um, to show what we actually do, and I, I like this slide quite a lot. This, we do design for organizations, and we primarily design with organizations because that's our belief. And um, in terms of political uh, activities, we do it for citizens, with citizens, and uh, partly by citizens. Um, just a quick overview of um, people or ideas we are um, inspired or driven or um, uh, challenged, but this is uh, like a competitum of things that are important to us. Um, and since this day is also connected to methods, um, we, we with our approach would like to get a step back because before you, you think of methods, um, you in our case, do the process. So um, Alexis Eremia is my business partner, and she's also head of process design at our company. And um, she defines uh, our frames principles for collective transformation. Um, and this goes, like those principles go for temporary processes, workshops. They go for constant processes within organizations. Um, and they partly go also for your individual uh, processes. <laughs> um, so transformation is deep, slow, intense, and uncomfortable. Uh, choose depth over speed. So you can't get transformation as fast food. You can try it, but it, will it, it won't work. Um, it's actually the same as health. Um, you can... Uh, eat fast food, but it won't be healthy, and it's the same with transformation, because, you know, what you eat is what you are. <laughs> um, so choose depth over speed. Um, don't go directly from A to B. Um, and it, for sure it's uncomfortable. I call it, you have to go through the mud. You have to have this effort to go through a process. Um, and uh, if you avoid it, the substance will lack. Emergence happens in a container of trust. 
it's a very important thing to have trusted partners. Um, we are very strict about our partners in terms of um, do we have a common understanding? Um, do, we, do we have fun together? Is the, is the client or is the partner committed? And um, is the partner convinced by himself? Because otherwise uh, there will be always problems in processes of transformation. And if this is not uh, a given thing, we don't do it. Um, and you also have to trust yourself. It's a, a very intensive and um, um, self-challenging um, activity you are in. There are always tensions, so you need to trust yourself a lot as well and your team. Believe in the wisdom of the collective. So if you do transformation of, a, of an organization or of a group of people, it's the transformation of the group of people, it's not um, your transformation. So don't try to control their change. Um, the success of an intervention depends on the interior conditions of the intervener. Your intention and attention are key ingredients for successful transformation. So this goes partly for us, who are the process designers and facilitators or concept developers. But it's, of course, also um, valid for and necessary for the client or the contractor um, because he, he needs to hold the space, he needs to hold the, um, the way to the objective or the outcome. And very important, and something I kind of uh, sensed yesterday, um, we do believe that design follows purpose follows the outcome, and very important, tools follow design. So for us, a method or a tool is never the, the, the purpose per se. I don't do design thinking to do design thinking. I don't do scenario planning to do scenario planning. I do it because it serves the purpose. Um, people, processes, places, and presence. So, um, work in teams rather than alone. That, that, that is not a dogma, and of course it's, um, it's not black and white. Certain moments in processes, uh, individualism makes sense, but all in all, um, use the power of working together. Be present, stay focused on the whole. The place and space matters. Don't underestimate space. It, it triggers a lot. And process is fluid, so stay with, the, stay with the purpose of the event. Don't be dogmatic or strict with your process. Be flexible. So, so this is a trigger somehow uh, for you. We can discuss that in our work session a bit more in depth. Uh, and, and now some case studies. Um, I start with the project uh, Philipp already teasered yesterday. It's called Rethink Austria. It's, I call it a retreat for future politicians or, or uh, like we have uh, three to, uh, we have five parties in parliament from left to right and our approach is to bring them together for a retreat of two, uh, almost two days, once a year in a safe setting and um, I chose this picture because it's a very good example of these days. Yesterday, a, a colleague from the ministry asked this question, so how do you convince people, for example, in the ministry to, to do something innovative? And what we do with Rethink is we have future leaders in it. We are now hitting the fourth edition of Aus Rethink Austria. And this lady, um, took place last year in this process, so she got an awareness of uh, how innovation works, she got a, uh, a feeling for modern social technologies, and on Sunday she announced that she will run for presidency of Austria. So what we achieve, or what is the impact in this case, is that we got someone with a certain awareness and a connection to this group um, of people, 
and the quality of um, the quality of uh, meaningful conversations of collective learning. Maybe we got someone uh, to the position of uh, to be president. And another thing is, uh, only yesterday, the leader of the Conservative Party, um, like the uh, general secretary of the Conservative Party, uh, was also uh, announced, and he was also taking part in the first two rounds of Rethink Austria. So again, the same impact. And these are then people who would contract uh, uh, projects of transformation within their organization. Platform S stands S stands for Sektionen, which is in Austria the highest uh, level of public administration. And our ministries are organized very much based on the organization of the land last 150 years, very much vertical in, sil in silos. So the thinking and the culture is very much silo-based. And um, this is a platform we are discussing with them right now. So to have a space of reflection, of common agenda setting, to have a space of new kind of meetings, um, for cross-ministry collaboration, but one step before it's cross-ministry thinking and elaboration. So this will be a series of events um, for those who uh, resonate with this kind of platform. So it's decisions and change makers out of this uh, high-level public administration. Um, a, a, a different but still uh, important project for us was uh, Graz Outside. It was uh, like contracted by a municipality um, where we were asked to research the diaspora of a city, so those people who don't live in the city anymore but abroad, and um, to research and prototype relations, establish relations, and use them uh, to create kind of a community and uh, um, use them, for example, for innovation scouting. Spaces of coalition is still a concept. That is, uh, a concept means that we, we identify needs and um, come up with a concept. And it sometimes, like for example, with Rethink, it took three years to get a partner. It took Philip to become uh, the general manager of Forum Arbach, um, and then after three years, something like we think could happen for us. So spaces of collision is something similar. I, I don't expect it to be immediate implemented, immediately implemented. What, is, what it is about is we co-created it with two smaller parties, the Austrian Greens and the Austrian Liberals, um, and it's mainly about the uh, shifting from a cold negotiation of coalition towards co-creating a coalition program. So rather than you come to the table and say, this is my interest, this is your interest, and OK, based on our negotiation, we form a program for, for our government, we kind of want them to co-create in terms of content and projects, but also in terms of culture and processes, how to uh, work together, what the purpose, the objectives of the next four or five years in our governmental work would or should be. Um, it's an, a bit idealistic, but still uh, we have two parties on board already, and um, it depends on one of the big um, parties to join in at the right moment. So it can happen either in two weeks, very intensive, because it's after the elections, or it can be in advance before the election, and it goes over like slowly and in a uh, six month uh, uh, time, for example. And that's just like what we're working, uh, one project we're working now on is the new Vienna Congress. Maybe you know 200 years ago there was the Vienna Congress a little bit different dimension than back then. <laughs> there will be a new Vienna Congress and it's like 50 participants all over the world, uh, all over Europe, seven working groups over three months. And in this case, what we do the first time, we combine process design and social technology with actual 
impact that assessment, which is a technical tool, and uh, so we, we we constantly evaluate and 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 um, uh, map things on a, on a, uh, with the technical tool with our partner and actual organizer of this event, Fast Research. Uh, and this is a prototyping also for us in, in terms of working with, with this technology. Um, yeah, uh, that's it for uh, today. Uh, as, as the talk, um, I like to dance, so uh, I invite you for a dance within the workshop. Um, we, we are based in Vienna, um, which just means that we are based there. Um, we are very much connected to the Impact Hub Vienna and therefore with the International Impact Hub Network and we are very much uh, working wherever uh, we see sense in the project and we see uh, sense of traveling. So um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.